Right, hello guys. Um, Robert Bat One here, along with Charmander. I've just finished opening my uh, gold uh, boxes. Pulled some pretty good stuff out of that. Video coming tomorrow. Um, and in today's, I need to put the light on. And in today's Yu-Gi-Oh video, we're going to be doing the future of Yu-Gi-Oh. It seems that um, we've gotten a new archetype that has been revealed, and I want to talk about it. So. Talking about cards that are coming out later on in the game, let's go, Future of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, it is called Holy Night. Uh, honestly, I I just think of the, the song, Holy Night, Silent Night, the, the goddamn uh, Christmas carol. And uh, we're going to look at it. It seems it's, uh, oh, so it is one of the selection uh, 10 archetypes that we're getting? Okay. I'm kind of curious. So the first, so it's it's a dragon, so not warrior. Okay, so the first monster. This is probably the boss monster. Then, so the dragon shining of holy night slash radiant seeria, um, level seven light dragon effect monster, twenty five hundred attack, twenty three hundred defense. If this card is normal, so normal or special summon from your hand, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle with a dark monster. Okay, so it's got like that. It's kind of like the opposite of Five-Headed Dragon, or was it? Uh, Five-Headed Dragon had, like, it couldn't be destroyed by a battle by a, by anything but a light. Yeah. So this is similar to that, and uh, cannot be destroyed by Dark Monsters' effects. Okay, so it's got protection from all Dark Monsters. Interesting. Like, I honestly don't know anything about this archetype. I, I'm just curious to see what it is. Um, and <laughs> this theme is a play on Holy Night and Holy Night Christmas Eve. I just realized that it legit <laughs> it's the christmas song <laughs> oh okay let's read the last part of this card's effect though because that's probably annoying some of you um once per turn at the start of the damage step when this card attacks an opponent's monster you can banish that opponent's monster until the end phase also this card can make one more attack wait so that you can literally just banish one monster this attacks and then attack again isn't this just bls without the target Huh. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of like BLS. Um, like, it's on summon. Uh, you get to destroy a card. It's protected from all dark monsters. And it can banish and attack again. That's pretty good. No issues with that. Alright, so this is... Um, oh, this is a fairy. So, what the hell are these? <laughs> what are these just all different attribute types then? Um, well, actually, no, they are angels in the picture, so it makes sense for them to be fairies. All right. So, ho holy. So, the first one was that. Uh, holy Knight. Uh, holy Knight Ray Rail. Wait, you mean like Gabriel? <laughs> uh, is this just going to be a play on words for, like, angels? Uh, 1800 attack, level 4, light fairies, 700 defense. Um, when this card is normal summoned, you can add one Holy Knight spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. You banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Holy Knight monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. All right, that's that's actually pretty good. Um, on summon, you just get to add any of the spell and traps from your deck to your hand, which is always a good thing in decks like this. And then you've also got an effect that can literally just banish itself from the graveyard um, to then just special summon a, ho a Holy Knight monster from the graveyard. There's like no issue to this card. This card is actually really nice. Uh, if there was one thing I had to say about it, um, it would be that. Legit, this just means that you can play DDR in this deck, which is actually really good as well, because you could just discard another one. That, that, that's actually pretty good, <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, Holy Knight Astral. Um, okay, Estelle. Pff, I don't know what angel that would go to. Bra Christian Brain, don't remember all the angels. <laughs> um, level 4, Light effect, Fairy Effect Monster. 500 attack, 2k defense. Uh, first effect. Uh, you can target one light monster you control, tribute it, tribute it, and if you do, special summon one level seven light dragon monster from your hand. Okay, so the this will be the one that is summoning the big dragon here. Interesting. Interesting. Um, or it's kind of like a sacrifice because if you look here, it looks like they they might be sacrificing themselves to summon the dragon that's in the sky. Huh. Kind of cool look at it. So yeah, just target one light monster you control, tribute it, and then you get special summon level seven or higher dragon from your hand. Level 7 dragon. Uh, and you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one level 7 light dragon monster you control. It gains 1,000 attack. Hmm. This is, um... This is actually pretty good. This is, uh... Like, legit, you just get to special summon 
the this for free, you make it thirty five hundred. It's pretty decent. I'm not gonna. I don't have any issue with it. Holy Knight Flamel, Flamel. <laughs> I'm thinking Zuriel, but that would be completely wrong. It might actually be. Um, so level four light a fairy effect monster, fifteen hundred attack, one thousand defense. When an opponent's monster attacks, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Special summon one level seven light dragon from your hand. So this is a hand trap that summons out the dragon. Huh. That's pretty. Like I, I don't know what's wrong. What, 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 what's, what's this is actually pretty decent. Like legit, you just go ahead. Your opponent attacks. You summon out. You trip discard this, and then you summon out your big dragon. Like this is. This is pretty good. I I actually like this. Um, and it's graveyard effect. It's quick effect. You can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one level seven dragon monster you control, or have it, uh, or have in your graveyard. Return it to the hand. Hmm. So. This is just a way to recycle the dragon from your graveyard as well. Huh. That's pretty good. All right. Um, so we're going on to the spells now. So they've got four monsters. The four monsters look pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. Um, the best one, I think, is this one, depending on what the spells are, plus also the fact it can revive stuff. But pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I don't. I wish it, was, it wasn't was fairy, but I guess it kind of has to be because they are angels. So fairy decks. Fairy decks rejoice. You have all of this. Um, but let's go into the spells. So Hel Holy Knight Bellfire. Like just Christmas V Mark type. <laughs> um, add one Holy Knight monster or level seven light dragon monster from your deck to your hand. Then, if you can, your opponent controls a dark monster while you control no monsters, you can special summon one level seven light dragon monster from your hand. If against the dark deck, this just says I summon out my big dragon for free. That's basically e telling. <laughs> okay, pretty good. Just a searcher for any of your Holy Knights. So, legit, just. Normal this, add this. If your opponent has a dark monster, special summon big dragon. Pretty good. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, Holy Night Sky. It's a field spell, okay. Uh, during your main phase, you can normal summon one Holy Night monster or one level seven light dragon monster in addition to your normal summon set. Alright, so uh, you gain an additional normal summon. Alright, what's the second effect? If a level seven, if a face up level seven light dragon monster you control is returned to the hand during your turn, you can draw one card. All right, so that makes sense for this then, so you can gain additional draws, which is kind of good. All right, and it's a uh, once per turn, so you can do it even during your opponent's turn, because so that's a quick effect. Continuous spell, Holy Knight Nativity, <laughs> a, a, a Nativity. Okay, we're going with the full Christmas theme here. Um, <laughs> continuous spell card. During your main phase, you can reveal one light fairy monster from your hand, and if you do, add one level seven light dragon from your deck to your hand. Then place the revealed card on the bottom of your deck. Don't know how I feel about that. Uh, there are a lot of ways to search, but I'd rather not have to return the card to my bottom of my deck. It's the first card that I have an issue with. But hey, you gotta have some, don't you? Uh, second effect: If your opponent activates a card or effect, you can special one level seven light dragon monster from your hand. Okay. This, this is actually good. <laughs> like, activate this. Your opponent activates any card or effect. You just get to summon the dragon for free. This deck has so many ways to summon the dragon. Like, the, like this summons it from the graveyard. This summons it from the hand. And the... <laughs> like, this summons it from the graveyard and the hand. Like... Now, this just summons it from the hand. So, uh... Uh, wait, yeah, you can send this card from your hand or filter. This summons it from the hand. This summon this returns it to the hand. This summons it from the deck. This gives you an additional normal summon to summon it. This one lets you just special summon it from the hand. Like, there's so many ways to summon it. Like, th this is a uh, fully just boss monster deck, which is kind of interesting. Holy Knight Advent. We've got Advent Calendar now, boys. Um, during your main phase, you can activate one of these effects. Target one level seven light dragon once you control. Uh, you control, return it to the hand to get draws of the field spell, I suppose. All right. Uh, special one, level seven, light dragon monster from your hand. It, this deck really does just revolve around summoning Christmas dragon, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it, man? Um, all right. Holy Knight Blast. Oh no, the dragon's just taking out everybody. Um, 
Normal trap, uh, you can only activate one. When an opponent's card or effect is activated, return one level seven light dragon monster you control to their hand, negate the effect, and if you do, destroy it. One issue with this card, it's not a counter trap. Only issue, legit, this uh, should have probably been a counter trap, but it's not. But honestly, the Holy Knight archetype, it's interesting. I give it that. It's, it's definitely an interesting archetype, like... This big dragon right here, having so many things going around it, like just focusing on summoning it from the hand, um, being a literal Christmas archetype. I, I, it, Radiant Sir, say are you? Are, are you? I, I, I think that's how you pronounce this one. But the Shining Dragon of Holy Knight. Um, legit, I, this is just a Christmas archetype, and I think it's interesting, um, to say the least. Like being able to just having so many ways to summon out a dragon that would literally just destroy a card. It's not once per turn on the destruction either. So if you could potentially summon it like multiple times in a turn, that'd be really nice to pop multiple different cards. Um, it banishes dark monsters, which is really nice. Like all the cards are really good in their own right. Being able to add spell traps, being able to summon from grave, uh, being able to just summon from the hand, uh, being able to just return to the hand and also summon from the hand. Being able to just summon from the deck, being able to just gain an additional normal, being able to just summon from the hand. Like, the deck has a lot. It has a lot. Like, this even summons from the hand. The deck has a lot of ways to actually consistently get to the dragon, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't think the deck is amazing. Uh, the deck definitely isn't going to be like tier one meta or anything. But for you casual players out there who want to celebrate the Christmas season coming up soon, I think this is a good archetype to look up for you lot. So yeah, um, that's Holy Knights. I really don't have much else to say about it. It is an interesting archetype. It is kind of cool. Um, I don't really have anything else. Like you've got Gabriel right here. Like they just took out the Gabe. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the video. Tell me what your thoughts are on Holy Knights. Um, are you looking forward to the Christmas themed archetype? coming out because this is definitely santa claus is uh like deck <laughs> like shoves free santa claus in here shove all of these cards together you got santa claus you got christmas time in the deck you can literally make a christmas deck now thanks to this i'm pretty sure um but yeah uh don't forget to like comment subscribe subscribe tell me your thoughts of this deck in the comment section below um watch out for the uh gold box opening uh it should be out tomorrow um check out my twitch because i am streaming there now i'm probably going to do a spill streaming on the weekend as well and yeah guys robot one signing out uh i will see you guys later thank you so much for watching bye all.